Good morning, everybody. Happy June 20th to you guys out there. We got ourselves a really important tropical update, so you guys are going to want to stick around. Followed by the severe weather, we are continuing to see multiple days of severe weather being possible over this week. So we're going to need to watch this very closely. All righty, kicking things off here at the Cone of Uncertainty, guys, here on Tropical Storm Brett. In terms of intensity, things have not really changed since yesterday's live update. In terms of what we are talking about, we are seeing sustained winds or constant winds of 40 miles per hour of the system. Obviously, higher gusts up to 50 miles per hour could be possible. That is ongoing inside of the system right now. Current central low has not dropped yet, but it's 1,008 millibars. We'll continue to watch this as it is expected to further drop as strengthening is expected to kick up here. Now, as we track our way down here in time, this thing is expected to become a Category 1 hurricane kind of for some time around Wednesday. We're going to continue watching this for its strength. As of now, it's just expected to be a Category 1. Now, there's some good and some bad news. I'm going to go ahead and start with the good news. The good news is, is that it actually did get downgraded from a Category 1 to a upper level tropical storm now honestly personally i do think that this could be updated uh to hurricane force yet again I, I don't think that they're kind of out of the question of a hurricane at this moment so obviously that's still a question up for debate so we're going to keep an eye out there for the leeward and the windward islands and now the bad news now the bad news is is it is going to be getting relatively close here to areas of the dominican republic as well as puerto rico now those areas if you live out there towards those areas obviously heads up to you guys as some impacts could be possible now that is kind of the thing now in the latest models compared to what we've seen here yesterday the latest cone uh, we are seeing the system's potential driving further south into the deeper caribbean seems to be more of a likelihood now here's the thing you guys i have a couple of scenarios to show you guys what could be possible now i'm not saying that this is going to happen as of now it is really unknown okay now, here's some hypothetical scenarios, and I'm going to go ahead and explain this. So, uh, the, the worst case scenario I see this happening is it continues to move westward, possibly tracks into the Gulf, and who knows where it ends up. That it could be the worst case scenario. Once again, as of now, we do not know this. We All we know is that it's expected to get somewhere near the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico, and that's all we know as of now. Now, that's one hypothetical scenario if it continues and drives its way up here into the Gulf. Now, another hypothetical scenario, which could be good, it could be bad, um, with the history of what I've seen with tropical cyclones. Now, say for instance, say this does decide it wants to get really close to Cuba here. Now, that could honestly be pretty good because Cuba's geography, on the, especially on the western side in the central portion of the Cuba, there is a lot of mountain ranges. And what do hurricanes hate? mountain ranges obviously as they roll on land they slow down a bit but with there's with the mountains there that obviously allows for rapid decay of the storm so that could honestly be a good thing now the last hypothetical scenario is that it actually literally just uh continues and it probably crosses back into the uh you know back into the western atlantic here uh that could impact the bahamas so basically like i said this thing could literally do anything at this point i mean it could steer into the gulf it could go over cuba and slow down or it could go out to sea which right now all we know is that at some point it is likely to remain south of the Dominican Republic so that is something that we're going to continue to watch now here's the current satellite imagery here on Tropical Storm Brett. As we can actually see, we do have a relatively nice counterclockwise rotation. This thing has definitely picked up in its circulation, although you can kind of see how its thunderstorms are still relatively disorganized. Uh, obviously right now we have a big convection burst here going on on the central and eastern side of the storm. Obviously with a few, a little bit of convection off to the west as well. Now I do expect, obviously since the system is expected to start strengthening, all of that activity will start to congeal join together and we'll start to see one big mass really start to rotate now but you can actually see it this thing is rotating pretty well here and obviously this is going to continue to pick up as we continue moving westward now in terms of the spaghetti plots here we are remaining relatively south here at puerto rico as well as the dominican republic as we did mention there on the cone of uncertainty now the chances the likelihood of this system steering out to sea uh, just before hitting areas of the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico does remain or is lowering a lot more. So overall, the likelihood of this thing tracking south and into the uh, pretty much the southern Caribbean at this point does seem to be the greatest scenario. Honestly, I, I would say that uh, we have at least a 90% chance that this system is going to remain into the Caribbean. So the chances of this thing going out to sea is, uh, well, not so likely. 
Now, same models, just taking a look here at the intensity. Things have honestly died down a lot compared to what we've seen here really over the last few days. So as you may or may not have known if you're here in yesterday's live stream, we were actually seeing most of the model support literally category one. But now it seems like the majority of the models are kind of waning down a bit. That could be really some good news. Uh, now, the line of best fit, basically the middle point between all the main models, actually has this thing getting up to around mid to upper tropical storm. So we have seen that big drop in intensity, according to the models lately. Now, like I said, this could just be a single run thing. It could pop back up to be uh, you know, stronger in the future models. But right now, things are looking a lot better compared to what we've seen here last night. Now, here's the thing. Now, what I'm a little concerned about is obviously, you know, when it comes to tropical systems, you know, uh, the main thing is, is the warm ocean waters. And we have a lot of warm waters out there in the Caribbean. So uh, that alone could support some, you know, intensification. Now, it also depends on other factors such as moisture supply, which does seem to be there according to models. And uh, the last thing being wind shear, basically just strong winds, basically just cutting off the storms. Uh, that kind of seems to be a uh, possible scenario that we should watch out that could weaken the storm a bit but anyways but regardless right now there's some good news we are seeing those intensities drop a bit according to the main models now i hate to mention this but there's actually another system that we have to be watching out for now in terms of when this thing's expected to develop it could be as soon as literally the next two days there's a possibility we could see a new tropical depression or a new tropical storm develop here just behind brett here uh is expected to relatively track kind of in the same direction if not just a little bit more to the northwest now in terms of the probability of this thing forming through the next week as a 70 percent chance so things are pretty likely that we're going to have another tropical system falling right behind brett here uh obviously i don't know the sea name for the hurricane season right now um but in terms of when it forms we'll obviously let you guys know about that now in terms of formation over the next two days or 48 hours we are seeing a 60 percent chance probability so we have a good possibility we could be seeing another tropical system form here literally in the next two days. Taking a look here at the HWRF model in regarding to Tropical Storm, possibly future Hurricane Brett here. As we continue moving our way westward, this model continues to support a very strong hurricane. Now, I will let, let me go ahead and warn you that this is literally the only model that shows it getting this strong from what I've seen so far. Now, this actually kind of shows the uh, the system making landfall here towards the windward and leeward islands, kind of around 5 to 8 p.m. here for the 23rd, which I believe is Friday, uh, which, like I said, Friday obviously is the day of landfall we are expecting across the windward and leeward islands uh, then continuing to move its way to the west now this model takes a really interesting approach and actually does a rapid shift to the north and impacting areas of the eastern uh, puerto rico areas here obviously for more of the northern uh, islands here or just the eastern uh, islands east of uh, puerto rico here i'm not exactly sure the names of these islands but those areas looks to be possibly impacted by this model now uh once again this is just one model this is just one opinion so let's take a look at another model and let's see what these ones how will they compare all right now here's the hmon model this is a completely different model we continue to track our way down here in time now this one actually re keeps it remaining a relatively uh you know relatively high pressure compared to what the other ones are showing uh at the low at this model here kind of shows it around like 995 millibars which is kind of that tropical storm force there if you're just going off of pressure and has it going right over the uh windward and leeward islands here same timing five o'clock five to eight p.m on friday uh so timing seems to be pretty spot on between what the models have to say so that's something to note down uh but in terms of intensity that's where we are still lacking so we know the timing of landfall towards the windward and leeward islands which is on the afternoon of Friday. Uh, we're going off the eastern time zone, by the way, so between 5 and 8 eastern, we should be seeing landfall make through uh, across the, le the leeward and the windward islands out there. So, uh, But in terms of, like I said, the models, uh, we still have a lot of work we need to work out here. Um, and now, like I said, obviously the uh, HWRF, the last model we looked at, had a really powerful hurricane going right over these chain of islands. Now you can see this model has it barely even a tropical storm if a tropical storm and getting really close between puerto rico and the dominican republic so big key differences there um things are going to need to be ironed out over the next few days obviously we're going to be doing more live updates and videos like this to help keep you guys prepared so that's overall kind of what we're looking at Alrighty, guys, well, that's going to go ahead and wrap up the video. If you guys did enjoy it, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Also, please share this, guys. Help get the word out there. It would be greatly appreciated. It really helps out the channel. 
thank you guys so much for being here. It's really appreciated. Now, we are going to be going live later tonight, obviously, to give you guys more of a live update. So if you guys have any questions during it, um, I'll be able to answer you guys live. So obviously, we'll be there for you guys tonight. All right, guys. Well, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up. Once again, leave a like, hit that subscribe button, share this. And all right, guys, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Please be safe out there, and we'll see you guys later on. Peace out.